Hello, this is uh, OSSI again, and uh, today we'd like to talk about uh, OBC of the OSSI-1 satellite. Um, so, OBC is actually uh, serves just like the main uh, uh, main board of the satellite. So, OBC means onboard computer. So what uh, OBC actually does is it um, uh, and it sends most of the signals, like for example, uh, solar panel voltages, bus voltages, battery voltages, and we use supercap. So it also measures supercap voltages and it also measures solar cell currents. Uh, this is really important for us because we need this information to judge what part of solar panel is uh, looking towards the sun. Because when uh, the solar panel looking towards the sun, that means you know we will have more current on this pin. And we use ADZ708 uh, analog MUX multiplexer because we are going to use only two analog digital converter pins of the microcontroller and uh, this is how we terminate unused operational amplifier uh, I think this is the best way to uh, achieve that uh, and we use um, MSP 430F 1611 microcontroller this has a space heritage that has been used by uh, CubeSat kit by Pumpkin and also by SysCube and also Delphi C3 and many others. This is really good one because it supports a uh, really good low power mode operations. Um, and we use Max 890 um, current li limiter so whenever there is uh, some radioactive particle hits the microcontroller then the currents uh, increase and then this chip will tell you whether your uh, microcontroller got hit by radioactive materials uh, particles then you need to reset uh, the microcontroller uh, before it dies this is uh, one way of mitigating a single event lecture event in a harsh space environment and we also use uh, TPS 3838 uh, reset supervisor because the satellite will be uh, uh, will have switches on uh, each side so it got uh, pressed and then when it got employed uh, deployed from the adapter then uh, you probably have lots of like uh, bounce on your power uh, supply so this reset supervisor will uh, guarantee the microcontroller uh, to start uh, clean so what else we have and also we are going to use um, RS-485 as our external interface to the satellite because we need some uh, interface uh, to know the information inside of the satellite when we testing the satellite so we use Texas Instruments SN65HVD11 uh, RS485 transceiver but this chip has to be turned off when uh, the satellite is up in the space so we um, used uh, external interface uh, detection so whenever we push the external interface uh, this uh, over voltage uh, limiter and the, um, the ideal diode from linear technology LTC 4411 will detect uh, the uh, external interface connector and then it, this chip will tell this uh, RS-485 transceiver to listen to the uh, command from the external interface so when the, there, is, there is no external interface this chip will not be working so we can uh, save the power and we use lots of I2C communications so this PCA9548 uh, 
one to a channel switch it will uh, communicate to the each modules like LED modules, beacon communication modules, and uh, temperature ten temperature sensors in panel solar panel. But this one is really important because, uh, for example, when uh, comes uh, powers down, then it probably gonna uh, powers down the whole I2C communication, so it has to be isolated. And that's why we need this. And also, the temperature sensors, the slave ID address is um, up, we can only use up to eight uh, temperature sensors. Ice case is temperature sensors, but we use more than eight, so we need to isolate the uh, uh, addresses. And this uh, PCA 9595 uh, 15, 9515A will be used uh, as our secondary ice uh communication. And also we use uh, and, uh, this TMP101 and TMP100 is ice uh temperature sensors. Uh, the 101 has uh, alert functions, so we you set the uh, certain uh, temperature threshold, then it, uh, when the temperature uh, is above the threshold level, it will alert uh, to the microcontroller so you know uh, you don't have to measure, but you just know uh, your panel uh, temperature. And we use two uh, memories. One is AFRAM, it's a uh, new technology, but it has a space heritage. It has been used by NASA. And this 24LC256 uh, kilobyte uh, E2P ROM is also used. This one has a 256 kilobyte, you can um, uh, store uh, the data for 200 years and it's a very, it has a very good temp characteristics. And another one, I2C devices that we are using is DS3231 real-time clock. So this chip is used for our uh, shooting star um, reservation uh, time scheduling. And what else? Oh. And in order to interface some of the uh, different uh, voltage levels of the uh, EPS system to the onboard computer, uh, we check whether uh, the power is used by the solar cell direct, direct transfer or the battery or the super, uh, super capacitor. So we check that and we also check whether the battery has got fully charged or there's uh, something wrong with the batteries. Or we also check, you know, there's some problem at the supercapacitor charger. Or we also want to know whether supercapacitor power out is good or not. But this level is in V bus level, uh, whereas uh, the OBC onboard computer power level is 3.3 volt. So we need to translate voltages uh, from the V bus level to the 3.3 volt onboard computer level. And also, uh, the good thing about using this SN74LVC8A2245 uh, chip is it will guarantee the high impedance state of the uh, pins when the chip is powering up. So it protects the uh, um, letter of the onboard computer microcontroller, which is MS, MSB430F. 1611 and also we this is the other way so this is from onboard computer to the EPS or the other module um, uh, in order to enable supercapacitor charger or supercapacitor output and etc um, so this will be the uh, the connecting connector the main bus so I have explained most of it, but I will tell you more when I finish this schematic. So, and also, yeah, one last thing, we use this external watchdog timer. We set the time as a 60 second. So uh, when this chip does not get any uh, signal from the microcontroller, then this uh, external watchdog timer will reset the uh, microcontroller so it can be free from uh, 
uh, single event upset, which is also happening when there's a one uh, radio strong uh, radioactive material hits the uh, microcontroller and it flips uh, the bits to one to zero or zero to one. So this will mitigate that uh, single event upset um, situation. Okay, this is about it, and still we I think we have uh, about like I don't know three weeks or more to finish our satellite. So we'll do our best. Uh, if you have any suggestions or any better ideas, please let us know. Thank you.